OK then, I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques for bringing out water detail. In particular, say you have a shot like this where the cascading water looks quite impressive, but a lot of the fine detail seems to have been lost really in the melee, so to speak. So there's something we can do about this. The first technique I'll show you involves the use of a high pass filter. So with the background pixel layer selected, we want to go to layer, new live filter layer and high pass filter. OK, and then on the dialog, check monochrome and use a radius of between sort of 30 and 40 pixels thereabouts. OK, then what we want to do is on the layers panel, select the high pass layer and then go to layer and invert. So this will invert that layer's mask. Then we want to use the paintbrush tool and I'm going to reduce the hardness all the way to 0% and use quite a large width, say about 1000 pixels. Then on the color panel we want to make sure we've got white selected. So this is going to paint back onto that high pass layer mask. And then we just go around the areas where the water is falling, like so. Don't worry about going over the, the edges somewhat. We just want to make sure we've got a good coverage of the main area that we want to accentuate. OK, so now all that's left to do is, with the high pass layer selected, we want to choose a suitable blend mode. So, linear light is quite extreme, as you can see. Hard light will give us a slightly softer result, but still bring out a nice amount of detail. So if I just hide that high pass layer, you can see the original image. And then if I turn it on again, you'll see we just accentuate all the darker details in that water. OK, so that is one approach, but I'm just going to get rid of that layer for now. Here's another slightly more extreme approach. First, we want to duplicate the background pixel layer. And then we want to enter the tone mapping persona with that new pixel layer selected. And what we want to do in this persona is just turn the tone compression all the way down to 0% and then put local contrast up pretty much all the way. There's no point in going halfway because we can effectively mask or blend this layer into the original to control exactly how strong this effect is going to be. OK, so we'll click Apply. And then back in the Photo Persona, what we want to do is add a mask layer to that tone mapped layer. Select the mask. Once again, like we did before, go to Layer and Invert. And then pick up the Paintbrush tool again. And we've still got the color set to white, so we can just paint in areas from that tone mapped layer. I can even reduce the brush size and bring this little bit in down here as well. And perhaps we'll go for some of the rock face too. Like so. So again, if we just compare and contrast, there's the original image. And then by blending in a tone mapped version of the image, we can bring out all this detail in the water and rock. And again, for finer control, you can change the opacity. So you can determine exactly how much blend of that tone mapped layer you want. And of course, you can also experiment with the different blend modes too. Although you'll get limited success compared to using blend modes with the high pass filter. So there we go, really, just a couple of quick techniques for bringing out this kind of water texture. Don't forget, you can try and apply this to all kinds of imagery. It doesn't just have to be water. So do get creative and try it with all kinds of subjects. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.